may not be what you had last year, particularly in the passing game. But you know, with the record, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to guess. I figure which is more important to you. Uh, how do you like the way this season has been going for you personally, considering what the team record is right now? Yeah, we're finding a way to win games. So you know, that's uh, that's the goal is to uh, to go out and find a way to win one game a week. So um, I'm happy with that, no matter how it comes. Ryan, do you think? Rabel should be in the coach of the year conversation just with his ability to kind of galvanize you guys throughout all the issues you guys have had in finding success despite of it. <laughs> like that, yeah. Uh, you know, coach, coach does a great job. I, I stay out of the nomination and all that stuff. But, um, you know, Coach Rabel does a great job preparing us each and every week, setting the tone, holding us accountable, and, uh, and putting a game plan together uh, for our team each and every week. So. You know, thankful to have a, a coach who handles those situations really well and, um, and keeps the pressure on us. How, much, how little does he throw in the examples from his playing days that might be pertinent to conversations you guys are having about situations? I mean, he's always throw, throwing uh, little examples from uh, his coaching, or sorry, his playing days, whether it's technique or um, how many touchdowns he caught or, you know, 10 for 10 or whatever it was. Um, catching the football, but it's always fun to, to hear those. And then, you know, he's, he's done it before. So the techniques that, that he's teaching and uh, trying to convey to the team, you know, he's been on the field trying to do those before as well. He was very pleased, I guess, or happy to see you in the fray when the ball was fumbled Sunday with the one that AJ recovered. Is that just something that goes with being a leader and natural instinct to dive, try to dive on a loose ball, even though as a quarterback, you know, they want you to stay out of harm's way as much as possible. Yeah, I'm just trying to trying to get the ball there. Obviously, you know, you hate to see the ball on the ground. And uh, it was getting kicked around all over the place. So I saw it go across the formation. Uh, was going to try to make a play. Thankfully, AJ got on there. Is that something that just kind of instincts take over for you, for you as, as, a, as a player rather than not thinking about I'm the starting quarterback there, just trying to get the ball? Because a lot of teams like Bridgewater caught a lot of flack because he didn't jump on a fumble in the Broncos game Sunday. Yeah, personally, I just I love winning. And I know if we can help save a bad situation with the ball being on the ground and, and maintain possession, then we're going to have a better chance of winning. So uh, obviously, you don't want to be injured in doing so. But at the same time, uh, just as a competitor, I'm going to try to make those plays. Those weekly messages that Coach Ray will deliver to you guys, is, is that unique just as far as like the effectiveness of it? Because it seems like all you guys every week yeah, Coach does a great job of, of finding a good message for the week. And I think over the course of time, we've seen those messages play out. You know, it's not just something that's thrown on the board and then, you know, at the end of the week, you're like, well, it didn't really matter. Like, he does a great job of finding things that are, are relevant. And then if we buy into it and, and execute them or, or believe in it or make it happen, then it usually works in our favor on Sunday. So, um, I think that ability to find something relevant and then the fact that as a team we've seen it work helps us to buy into it and, uh, and make it happen. Awesome. Message. Can you think of one that just was like spot on, like it was, it was just exactly what you guys needed for that week? It's all a blur at this point, but uh, there's, there's so many that, that have been relevant. You know, I think each and every week, I've never like seen a message and being like, yeah, that doesn't matter. You know, it's always, yeah, I can, I can get behind that. I think that's something that, that uh, is going to be important this week. So, uh, like I said, the, the fact that it's relevant each and every week is huge. Beyond the message each week, what is it, I guess, to sum up what he gives to a team as a head coach? Wow. Uh, we're getting philosophical today. <laughs> um, you know, he does a great job of setting the tone uh, for the organization, uh, holding, holding our standard. Um, setting the pillars of the program, things that we believe. Um, you know, he manages the games really well, in my opinion. Obviously, he puts a ton of time and effort. Him and Stretch go through just about, I think, probably every every game situation throughout the league each and every week, and um, and have a plan if that comes up in our game. So uh, they're putting themselves in those situations. He uh, has a plan for for each and every situation. Understands, you know, the rule book really well, and um, and tries to take advantage of of every situation that arises. So. Um, you know, that's part of his, his job and then, you know, conveying the, 
the message each and every week, giving us something to rally behind, holding the team accountable. I mean, it all falls with, with in his job title, and um, you know, he does a good job of of being efficient in all those areas. Brian, pardon me, real quick. Um, first one, just how is it just having Taylor in there, and just I know it's been kind of an up and down <coughs> season for him with the ACL and everything, but when he's in there, how how confident are you in a guy like him? And then also, what do you think about the finger roll by Ben Jones? <laughs> Uh, ben obviously has been taking notes. It was pretty good, yeah. pretty good for a big fella. Um, excited to have Taylor back in there. Uh, you know, we have so much confidence in Taylor and, and what he brings to us, uh, the energy, uh, the athleticism, obviously, and uh, just hope to get him rolling here as things move forward. You guys have won six games in a row against teams that have been in the playoffs. Now you're playing a team this week that is that has struggled. How do you keep your edge, and how and do you have to remind guys, you know, throughout the course of the week, got to stay focused, can't have a letdown. Yeah, it's a week by week league. You know, you have to go out and perform each and every week. Um, they have some talented players on defense. They can they can make plays. They can put pressure on you. So, um, as an offense, we have to have urgency. We have to attack this week with, with urgency. Uh, I feel like the coach staff has come up with a good plan. We have to buy in, learn the plan, and uh, go out and execute it on Sunday. It's a necessarily big passing attack designed for big numbers. How do you kind of evaluate your play given? given that, that you're not going to be expected to hit 300 yards each week, that kind of Yeah, thing. just uh, executing one play at a time. You know, how do I how do I uh, execute the play that's called? And um, whether it be, you know, getting us into a good play on the ground or or it could be throwing the ball away, it could be um, scrambling, it could be making a, a good throw. You know, all those types of different things go into it. So, um, yeah, it's not, it's not based on numbers. Different at all at points without Derek the last couple weeks? Have there been moments where you thought, wow, I kind of miss Derek right now? Uh, well, yeah, I miss Derek. What? But, uh, yeah, you're not thinking about that in the huddle. You know, you're thinking about, all right, how do we how do we uh, execute this call? It's coming in, you know, build some confidence with the guys we have in there and and go out and, uh, and gain yards. So, um, yeah, obviously I miss Derek. I, I miss him being on the field, I miss competing with him. Um, but excited about the guys. I think Foreman's stepped in and done a good job for us as well as Adrian. So, uh, hopefully, we can get those guys continuing to to settle in as they get more carries with us and um, and kind of keep things going on the ground. Feeling kind of like yourself again after after feeling pretty rough over the weekend. Yeah, thankfully, thankfully uh, things have, have passed me. So yeah, it was a it was a rough weekend uh, for a lot of different reasons, but uh, feeling good again. Unrealistic to think a team would be eight and two with that going on. Why do you think you guys are? Resiliency. I think uh, from day one, Coach Rabel's preached, you know, next man up mentality. Uh, opportunity is going to come up for guys. And uh, I think with the type of people that, that J Rob and, and Rabel bring into this building, they want to bring in guys who want to compete and, and um, contribute to our team. And so I think when those opportunities have arisen, we've had a bunch of guys really step up and make huge plays for us and, um, and help us win football games. So, yeah, you, you hate seeing guys go down. You hate having to, uh, to use as many guys as, as we've had. But at the same time, you're thankful for the mentality that this team has and uh, that, uh, that next man up mentality where uh, we can go out and play confidently, you know, no matter who's out there.